We were dispatched to the Sedgwick fire somewhere around half past five, six o'clock, somewhere like that, on Saturday afternoon, evening, and we spent the next two hours circling and reporting back in intelligence and um, just any information we could help with, both to the ground crews and also to the Bendigo Incident Control Centre. Um, and we, we monitored other aircraft in the area. Obviously, we have to sit above those so we don't interfere. Um, and basically just continued on that plot until we were released. Uh, we had five in the end. We had uh, the crane from Ballarat came out, Heli Attack 342, and we had its uh, aerial support, Firebird 309, that was there with it. Uh, we had our aircraft, which was a Bird Dog 392, which is a twin engine aero commander. Um, and we also had Heli Attack 337 from Mangalore, and also Firebird 305 from Bendigo came out and supported that aircraft. released into the dam water and sucks the water up into the tank. Tank here. The pilot sits in the front left here. You can see it's got a big bubble window here. So he, the pilot can actually look out the window and see what's going on underneath the aircraft, how close he is to the water when he's uh, flying down over the dam. He's also got some mirrors here on the front of the aircraft which allow him to see what's going on under the aircraft. So when he drops a snorkel down into the water, he can look in the mirror and see where that snorkel's positioned. It's a very large helicopter. The blade structure on the top of the helicopter, um, you might imagine uh, it's about the same weight as uh, the smaller helicopter, jet ranger helicopters, which most people are familiar with. And that's just in the blades and the rotor head. So it gives you some idea, putting things in perspective of the size of the helicopter. The aircraft burns around 600 litres of fuel an hour, so uh, a couple of hours of firefighting that uh, adds up to a considerable amount of fuel and we need um, infrastructure behind us to keep the whole thing going. This is the uh, cockpit of the aircraft, the pilot in this helicopter sits on the left hand seat. Um, we have a joystick here and on the joystick you can see the red button, that's the button to release the, the load. The aircraft uh, can pick up uh, 2,700 litres of water and it takes about 35 seconds to, uh, to uh, fill the tank. This is Firebird 307. This is the state's dedicated aerial information gathering platform. Uh, we use it. It's got a forward-looking infrared camera fitted to the front down here. This is the forward-looking infrared camera. It has a, an infrared camera and a, a colour camera. So inside the aircraft we can watch a, a infrared image of the fire which looks at the heat pattern. So we're looking for hot spots um, and burning logs and stumps and things like that. And we also have a colour camera at high definition so we can take a high quality still um, shots and, um, and and send live colour video back into the incident management team so they can see what's going on in near real time from the helicopter.